Okay, so with this, I want to talk to you about um, an old folklore, folk remedy, I guess. I don't know. Anyhow, I had read it a couple years back, and it seems to be doing true so far. But it is back in the time when the flu was, like, killing everybody. They said that there was a visiting doctor that went around and checked on the people. And there was um, one house that was not sick at all. Well, everybody else in the town was sick. So he went in there and he checked on them and he couldn't figure out why. And he'd seen that they'd had onions that they had set out. And if you think about onions, you know, they absorb all the bacteria. And um, now a lot of times that's where your food poisoning comes from and you don't even realize. Because if an onion sets out, it's taking in everything around it. So evidently he took the onions and tested them. However, you know, they did that back then. And the... Uh, Onion had the flu bacteria in it, but none of the people had it. So I just found that intriguing, and I started it several years back, and we've been doing it every year since. And so far, so good. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut up some more onions, put around the house. I mean, it's a little strong, but, you know, I, I'd rather smell onion for a day than be sick with the flu for a week. So I'm going to show you how I do that there, and then I've got an onion that I have... Um, had sitting out and I'll show you what that looks like after it has sit out so let's take a look all right so um just you know regular old yellow white onion whatever these things are brutal too I cooked with one the other day holy we about had, had me in tears but anyhow I like to peel them only because I feel like it takes in more bacteria that way the skin protects them it's got skin on them they're fine so I like to remove the skin layer and expose the whole onion up so with that, um, well, you wouldn't think it'd be such a hard task, but here I am struggling. I'll get it. Okay, there we go. Anyhow, fill it open. And then if it's a big onion, you know, I'd quarter it. But being a small onion, I'll just leave it in half like so. See how, you know, it's completely exposed. You got all the insides open up. And then I just literally set them on a saucer, a plate, whatever you got going on. And then I'll set them around the house here. So... Okay, so here you have it. I'm going to leave the center side where it's facing upward just I feel like it's got way because you know you got your layers and everything. And if y'all ever watched you know, the Shrek and it says, you know, you're layered like an onion. Well, it's true. They've got layers in it. So there's lots of places for it to absorb and pull in. Um, <clears throat> you can also take a slice of onion and put it on your feet and put socks over it and sleep with it that away and it'll help pull everything out of your body. So we've also done that when anybody's been sick. Um, but take these, set it around, show you where I put them at. Okay, this one here is right in the, kind of the entry of the house on the wash stand. And I just set it right out here. That way, anybody comes in, it just starts taking in. But that's it. I just place it randomly around the house where we get most visitation. Where, you know, sometimes I'll put it by the bedside if someone's feeling crappy. But, you know, just that. It's just an easy fix. Not costly. And it's a natural way of taking care of the issue. Okay, this is a... Um, an onion that's been sitting out for a while now, absorbing in any of the bacteria. You can see it's all shrivelly and dark and grody, but it's going in the trash now and will be replaced by the new ones again, as I had just showed. But yeah, that's what it looks like after sitting out for a while. So hopefully, hopefully these onions keep doing a job and we don't all get sick.